hello, Free Speech TV land. It's fun drive time. Yay! Yay! And listen, we got to kick it out because we're going to be on vacation next yep. week. So, uh, you know what? We're going right for the gusto. I would say do that $1,000 lunch with Mama and the Mooks. Tracy Mintz did, and she couldn't be happier. Hi, Tracy. Good morning. Good morning, Steph and Chris. I'm holding up the picture of us at lunch. How much fun oh, was that? God. It was so excellent. And I, I'm sorry. I want everyone to know that it was so easy, and it was fun and low-key and like having lunch with friends. It was incredible. A lot of drinking, a lot of groping, right, Tracy? Well, it was a weekday, so I'm going to keep the drinking on the DL, but... Yeah, I'm, yes. there's a, I'm groping you in this picture that I'm showing to the camera yep. right now. I, was, I did a little reach around there. <laughs> yes, I recall that I was talking to the guy from Free Speech TV, and all of a sudden you were hugging me. Yes. And I said, oh my. Yes, yeah. I'm very huggy. I'm like a koala. But it's well worth a $1,000 donation to Free Speech TV? Ugh, and then some. I wish I could be. I'm going to do it again. That's how much I <gasps> loved it. And everyone who can give $1,000, if you're, like, on the fence about it, yeah. do it. Do it. It's so awesome. Princess, do it. Aw, thank you, Tracy. We love I you. I we'll... want you to know I'm obsessed with the gift app. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Oh, thank good. you guys so much. <laughs> All right. Welcome. Thank you, Tracy. All right. Thank you, Tracy. <laughs> Love you. Hello. See you at the Bye. next lunch. Ha, 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 ha. She is delightful. Yeah, it's go awesome. To, do what Tracy says. Do it. Go to freespeech.org. I mean, sure, you can give $60, get the travel mug, the barbecue, blah, 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 blah. I'd go right for the gusto, kids. Yep. I'd go for $1,000. Lunch with Mom and the Mooks. April 17th is the next yep. one. And you get a reach around, too. Yeah. And for $1,000, oh. you're buying a memory. I'm totally, and, totally tapping that and next like, one. And like Tracy said, it's like having lunch with friends. Yes. Yep. Okay, call 877-378-8669 or go to freespeech.org now. Do it. Oh, well, it is free It is free speech fun drive time, everybody. That's why we're handling all our premiums. Yay! Yay. You know what I realized? Did you see the uh, goat dressed like the character from uh, Frozen on the interwebs? No. I should have no. uh, dressed Max like the uh, like uh, Elsa if just to help with fun drive time. I, do, I may do that by the end of the week. All right. Um, here's, here's the time of year you get to say thank you to Free Speech TV for Mama and the Mooks. For uh, Amy Goodman, for Bill Press, Tom Hartman, check it out. Look at our premiums. A $60 tax-deductible donation, you get the Free Speech TV travel mug. Boom! $120, you get the Stephanie Miller Show barbecue apron, which is fabulous. Boom! Yeah. I'm trying oh. to figure out what this is for. There's like a little thing here. Uh, okay, well, it's a, there's one for your beer. There's a bottle Just put opener. put your tongs on. There's the tongs uh, there. Hang your you tongs. got your potholder thing. It's, yeah. a, it's a whole thing. See, you learned something on Stephanie Miller's show. $240, you get the apron and the Free Speech TV t-shirt that the manly Chris Lavoy is sporting. Oh, on his... lamb! Okay, I don't know what's happening this morning. $360, you get the apron, the uh, t-shirt, and the travel mug, and $1,000. You get the lunch with Mama and the Moogs. That's the next, my favorite. Next one coming up, April Best 17th. Get in on that one. We're going to have some folks call in that have been to previous ones we this are. week to tell you what a rollicking good time they are. It's a great time. It's uh, tax deductible, worth every penny, and a lot of glug, 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 a lot of inappropriate touching. Uh huh. I mean, Go to freespeech.org. You can get drunk with us. Yep. Yeah, or you can fondle Travis if you'd like. Yeah, if you think the happy hour podcasts are fun, come on. You get to do it live, in person with us. 877-378-8669. That's the donation hotline. Or go right to freespeech.org. 877-378-8669. Or go to freespeech.org and say, thank you, Mama. Thank please, you, Mooks. Please donate because we don't want the corporations telling us what to no. say. And we want to eat. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Look at with this. you. This is what my breakfast normally looks like. Please save me from that. Yeah. Lunch with Mama and the Mooks. Do it now. Freespeech.org. <laughs> Hello, Free Speech TV land. It is fun drive time, not fun. It's just pure fun. Fun, fun drive. This is where you get to give and give and say thank you to Mama and the Mooks. Our our good friend Heather Shrek from Free Speech TV is on the phone with us. Hey, Heather. Hello. I, how are you guys? Good. Great. Are you, you got some news. You got some news. I do have news. Uh, one part of news, our friend Tracy, who called in yesterday, signed up for another lunch. Yay! Yay! $1,000 tax-deductible donation for lunch with Mama and the Mooks. That's right. Uh, absolutely. And uh, thank you to everyone who has donated thus far. Uh, this has been a magical drive of new donors. A lot of new people talked to somebody yesterday who had started watching uh, two days ago <gasps> and donated. Uh, so we are growing by leaps and bounds, and uh, we've got about a hundred and thirty thousand dollars more to go. So uh, you know, get involved. Uh, yes. Got to keep going Please. for Mama because Mama's going to be on vacation next week. But the fun drive continues. And tell us about we have a big donor that's going to do a matching thing, right? We do. We have a major donor, uh, Howard Clausen, uh, very very uh, gracious. 
has put up a $5,000 match. Awesome. Uh, so that means that any dollar that is, uh, he will match up to $5,000. And this is an amazing wow. gift. Um, a really great way to double the support. Uh, really keep uh, the incredible coverage that you guys do and everybody else does uh, going. And uh, Thank you, Howard. So you better go to freespeech.org right now, right? Or call 877-378-8669. Mm-hmm. Correct. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, you guys, it, it doesn't matter the level. If you've talked to me on the phone the last week and a <laughs> half, uh, I, you know, I encourage you. I say thank you for your support, but thank you for being a part of our family. Yay. What, all right. Um, uh, our network is all about. So. Yep. Yay. Thank you, Howard. And thank you, Free Speech TV, freespeech.org. Thanks, Heather. Thank you. Have a great vacation next week. Thank you for all you do. And love we'll you. see you in April. All right. Love you. Stephanie Miller. Where it's supposed to be 90 this weekend. What? People are still suffering, Becky, and they hate you and your ass face now. Okay, sorry. All right. <laughs> one 800 steph one the phone number toll-free from anywhere. Uh, I was just playing patty cake with Fred, who's so handsome. Look at him. He's a sleepy boy. Bob in Houston. Hi, you're on the Stephanie Miller Show. Hello, Bob. Good morning, beautiful. Hello. Hmm. Go ahead. I was, I was just, hi. I was just wondering, where were these Tehran 47 back when we needed them in 1980? Back yeah. when Ronnie and Ollie were selling the nukes to the uh, Ayatollah in the first place. Yeah. I, yeah, somebody, did. So you see the graphic yesterday, it was a picture of Tom Cotton. You know, anyone know how I can get, you know, get, uh, contact Iran directly? And there's a picture of Oliver North holding yeah. his hand off. <laughs> I do. I, I might have seen that one actually. Yeah. Uh, I, I was just thinking, surely these Republicans, guys, they're 90 years old on the average. Surely some of them were back around uh, in those days. Yeah. Yeah. They, they should have learned by now. Yeah. No, I mean, people like, as Chris said, John McCain certainly ought to know better. And, and I'm sure does. But it just, I can't believe in his private moments. He, you know, he just doesn't shake his head about what has happened to mm-hmm. his party. Obviously. Yeah, on a daily basis. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this is from, uh, yeah. Uh, John McCain admits to uh, open letter to Randy Sign. Maybe wasn't the greatest idea ever. Yeah. Do you think? Uh, the letter, uh, McCain said on Fox News, was just intended to tell the Iranians that whatever deal they make, the Congress of the U.S. will play a role. But maybe that wasn't the best way. Hmm. Gosh, uh, maybe not. Uh, he said uh, it's also. And then he he went on the blaming the president. Yeah. Group. He said uh, this. It's also symptomatic between the total lack of trust that exists now between the public Republicans and the president. Uh, this has established a poison environment here, which sometimes causes us to react maybe in not the most effective fashion. God. Ah, uh, you see what you did. You made it. You made. Why do you make us hit you? Yeah. We don't want to. Um, yeah, uh, in Daily Coast writing this, isn't it a shame that there's such a lack of trust in myst- uh, t- mysteriously existing when all Republicans ever did was say they were going to block everything President Obama has has tried to gain partisan points and make it easier to defeat him in 2012? Mm-hmm. Republicans are so very sad after years of them refusing to work with the president, he stopped bending over backwards to try to do so. Now Republicans are left with no choice but to retaliate by breaking all president and writing to Iran to try to scuttle a diplomatic solution to nuclear concerns. On the other hand, at least McCain didn't try to claim the letter was some kind of cheeky joke. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which uh, whoever did. Oh, uh, the uh, senator from the state of hysteria, Lindy, <laughs> Lindsay Beauregard. <laughs> Graham. Mm. Uh, 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 okay. The moment that he told the Congress basically to go to hell, I wanted him, the Iranians, and the world to know you cannot deal us out. By the way, did you... S- where did I get this? Oh, Vox.com. Yep. Lindsey Graham, as president, I would deploy the military against Congress. Oh, no, that is manly. He would... <laughs> did you see that... Uh, uh, Maybe so- the president will think about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see that uh, South Carolina had a straw poll and they forgot to include Lindsey Graham? Oh, <laughs> Lindsey, Lindsey. Yeah. Lindsay. Aww. Wow. Well, he will be on the fainting couch uh-huh. permanently. 
Lindsey Graham announced if he is elected president in uh, 2016. <laughs> Excuse me a minute. Uh, his first act would be to deploy the military in Washington to force Congress to reverse cuts to the defense and uh, intelligence mm -hmm. budgets. Uh, and he says, and I quote, here's the first thing I would do if I were president. <laughs> Sorry, there it is again. I wouldn't let Congress leave town until we fix this. I would literally, literally, literally. use the military to keep them in if I had to. We're not leaving town until we restore these defense cuts. We're not leaving town until we restore these intel cuts. Graham would use the military to force members of Congress to not just vote on a bill, but to pass it. Hmm. Uh, if, t if taken literally, Graham is basically announcing his, his uh, plan to stage a coup. Yeah. It would be a self-coup. Great. Uh, I just love this one line in Vox. There is no universe in which this is remotely legal yeah. behavior. <laughs> really, Lindsay? It's so macho, though. You're going to call it an airstrike against Congress? Oh, oh that's, my God. You know what? That's, oh, what my God. that's not something a bachelor president would do. Wow, my goodness. Ameri that must, America's bachelor president. That must have made a, whew, his pilot friend, John McCain, just... Mm. Mm. John McCain. Okay, here he is, Senator John McCain, his... We have this delusion somehow that a nuclear agreement will somehow not only restrain their activities, but renew some alliance, uh, give birth to some kind of alliance between us. <sighs> okay, as yep. you have said over and over again, you might remember your friend uh, Ronald Reagan. Yep. It would be to trust but verify what they're doing. It is not, a, 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 you know, a BFF a blood oath agreement. Right. Okay. Oh, here he is, the notorious Senator Tom Cotton. Can we call you Benedict Arnold? <laughs> Any deal that's not approved by Congress won't be accepted by Congress. Not now and certainly not in the future. Read the Senate website. Mm -hmm. The president ratifies agreements. The Senate does not ratify he should, agreements. He should have been paying attention in uh, in to the, Senator Elizabeth, Elizabeth Senator Professor Elizabeth Warren, who apparently was his, his professor. Yeah. Oh. Lord. Instead, he was out drinking with the SAEs. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I don't cotton to that. All right. Uh, as you might imagine, Dean Obadli Oblada of the Daily Beast. Or Obadala. Uh, right, exactly. All right. And, of course, uh, Sirius uh, Channel 121 with his own fabulous new show. Joins us next on The Stephanie Miller Show. Oh, hello, Free Speech TV land. It's fun drive time. Wake up, Frangela. Hey! <laughs> it's, it's time to shill for Mama and Free Speech TV. Wow. Why, look, this is for only a $60 donation. It's, it's the uh, Free Speech TV travel mug. How about that? Mm -hmm. That's uh, for your life. Right. $120 <laughs> tax-deductible donation. You get the Stephanie Miller Show barbecue apron. Check that out. Ooh. Right? It has a bottle right? opener. Yeah, and exactly. And a bottle holder. Yep. Thank you, Angela. It comes with this. And an unopened Yes, is. yes. It has everything you would ever need. For $240, you get the apron and the Free Speech TV t-shirt. For yes. $360, the apron, the t-shirt, and the travel mug. $1,000, you get lunch with Mama and the Mooks. And that... What? Right? Is a party. You've done it. It's a party. Yeah, next one coming up April 17th. Right? That's yeah. amazing. That's amazing. You can testify as, as people that have eaten and drinking with me. Oh, right. Yes. First of all, this woman could put out a cheese plate. Yes. Yeah. Well, Not that right. you're going to notice from the booze, but no. the yeah. point is. Yeah. And you're going right. to be singing some songs by the end of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There is. There's singing, there's dancing, there's laughing, there's oh, yeah. groping. Go to freespeech.org right now. Do it. Or you can call 877 378 8669. You know, the way Angela manhandles that barbecue apron, doesn't that make you want to just. Mm, I Does feel it, safe with it. Yeah. It's, it makes yeah. me feel safe. It's like you're, it's, you're, you're turning it into a slanket. And it it's, makes, yeah, it does. Right. It makes you feel like you could survive anything. That's yes. what free speech TV makes you feel like. It and does. that's why people like to give and like to support. Go to, you should. Right? We, can't be, we can't be smart asses without it. It is, your, right. corporate, it is your corporate <laughs> free television slanket. It really yeah, is. Like, yeah. that, feel that power. How yeah. do we donate, Steph? Well, you go to freespeech.org. Oh, or, or Chris, you call 877-378-8669. That's what you do there. There's okay. the donation hotline. Yeah. yeah. What was that number again? Oh, well, thanks for asking. 877-378-8669. Or freespeech.org, Francis. Me, I know you were looking at me like, what was that? Yeah. Oh, look, Francis is giving right now. Thank you very much. Freespeech.org. Yeah. Who's a little sleepy and grumpy this morning? 
I, I don't know what time it is. What time is it? <laughs> Let me check my Apple Watch. Oh, I don't have one it's yet. It's an hour <laughs> earlier there for you because of the time change here on the mainland. Yeah, please, can we stop the clock touching? This is insane. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Why What? What? Yeah. Why is it a thing? Why? Why? Yes. Kaiser Wilhelm, according to uh, John Oliver. That's right. That's yeah. right. Thank you, Germany, for Nazis <laughs> and clock touching. Yep. I really appreciate it right about that. Yep, it's a, it's a German invention. <laughs> <sighs> you know, as someone just said, uh, the Republicans would have written to uh, Hitler during World War II asking how they could help. Can you believe, we have to talk about this letter. Oh, I mean, I, I, seriously, Bob Seska. Yeah. I mean, and you know what's funny? They got the civics wrong. Yep, right. I don't know if you saw this. Yeah. I mean, uh, there was a post on, uh, uh, Josh Rogan wrote a thing about how, uh, no, no, I'm sorry, it was on Lawfare, which is hardly a liberal website. Right. And and the, the letter that Tom Cotton, this dilettante Tom Cotton wrote, says the Senate must ratify a treaty by two-thirds vote. But the Senate's own webpage makes clear the Senate, this is an actual quote from the Senate webpage, the Senate does not ratify treaties. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they're talking down to everybody here, giving, you know, giving uh, the the mullahs in Iran some sort of civics lesson. At the same time, they're getting the civics wrong. Yeah, I uh, I love this. That so now we've had first time in our we've had Iran's foreign ministers think some Senate GOPers need a lesson in civics and international law. He expressed astonishment that some members of Congress find it appropriate to write letters of another country against their own president. Yeah. I mean, I, I, have we ever looked like bigger doofy in the history of this country? Yeah, uh, these are the people that want to take AP history out of the classroom and replace <laughs> it with Reagan speeches. Right. Right. Yeah. And, and they're getting the civics wrong. It's, it's no wonder. Well, and it's treason. I mean, I, I, look at the read the Logan Act. I mean, it, it really, it, it has reached a new, I, just when you think they can't do anything more uh, uh, astonishing, here they are again, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, what this is, is this is just indicative of the overall cynicism of the GOP right now. What they're doing is, I mean, they don't care about Iran. They, they don't even care about Netanyahu. All they care about is what happens on AM talk radio and what happens on Fox News Channel. That's it. This is all a play to appeal to that base and to, to get it to, to resonate and get people angry about it, to add to their list of, of buzzwords like Benghazi and now yeah. email gate and all these right. things. That's yeah, speaking of which, go ahead, yeah. sir. Sorry, Bob, go ahead. Oh, no, no, I was just going to say, I mean, this is, it's, it's all about um, uh, ginning up the base and getting everyone freaked out and, and angry over nothing. Yeah, yeah, and, exactly. And this is what they, they're really good at now. Yeah, but speaking of which, uh, if wrong email, <laughs> Gazi <laughs> gate. Uh, uh, thank God. Yeah. I hope that the hand wringing panty waist, like uh, Diane Feinstein and Chris Lavoie, read your piece today. <laughs> Here is Diane Feinstein. She is the leading candidate, whether right. it be Republican or Democrat, for the next president to be the next president. And I think that she needs to step up and come out and state exactly uh, what the situation uh, is. Uh, Hello, Free Speech TV land. It's fun drive time. If you give money right now, I will give some chicken to these dogs that really, really want chicken. Oh. Fred! Fred! Who That's not going to end well for any of us. No, Max just giving, drooled. Giving. All right, don't drool when you give to Free Speech TV, but giving, it's the giving season. It's what it's all about. It's time to give back. I drool before every $1,000 lunch that we have. Me right? too. Jill and Madison uh, said the acts of a, traitor, a treasonous Republicans in Congress has caused me to donate to Free Ste Speech TV. It is the only way. Good girl. Hey, any it's reason, the only any way to fight back against treason. She said, "I am yes, I am donating to Free Speech TV because we need good news sources, and there are few <laughs> these right wingers." Oh dear. Oh. F the C wordy. Okay. <laughs> right wingers. I use gratu gratuitous swearing because I know you like it. Yes, I do. I like and, you it. Can, and, and you know what? You could have used that swearing on free speech TV right now because there's no FCC. Oh, right. that's right. That. Oh, my goodness. Let's not. Yeah. Okay, let's just not. Okay. okay. $60, you get that free speech uh, 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 travel that's TV mug. Sorry, TV travel mug. What's wrong with me? I have $120 no idea. tax deductible donation, the Stephanie Miller Show barbecue apron, $240 the apron, and the free speech TV t shirt, $360 tax deductible donation. You get the apron, the t shirt, and the travel mug, and $1,000, as we mentioned. You get lunch with uh, Mama and the Mooks. That's right. I it, might even bring Max and Fred. Can we bring them to that place? I think we can. I, I we do an outdoor table. Time. Oh, the last. That's right. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Max, you want the lunch? Well, then you're driving them. I'm not putting them in my car. Okay, I will. Actually, I would pay money to see you put All them right, in your car. All right, freespeech.org or 877 378 8669. Freespeech.org. Do it now. Give, won't you?